so this particular class we are going to discuss about selection of objects or we can say items suppose you see here we have a b c d e f like that we have different items are there from those different items zero or more can be selected in how many ways from these six items nothing selected that is one way no item selected from these six items one item can be selected in six c one ways because any of the item you can select from six objects one can be selected in six c one ways next from six objects two can be selected in six c two from six three can be selected in six c three four can be selected in six c four five can be selected in six c five six can be selected in six c six six c zero plus six c one plus six c two plus six c three plus six c four plus six c five you know some of the binomial coefficients is nothing but 2 to the power of 6 is the answer suppose he is asking from those 6 items 1 or more can be selected in how many ways he is saying 1 or more that means this particular case we have to remove that is 2 power 6 minus 1 ok each has no problem and no difficulty at all now the original difficulty will arise here we have an identical items are there right from n identical items r items can be selected in how many ways ok just observe here this is a this is a and this is also a this is also a this is also a let us say these are 5 identical items identical objects from these 5 identical objects I 5 identical objects I want to select two objects in how many ways we can select from five identical objects two objects can be selected in how many ways there is only one way because any two objects you can select same only you know these two select or these two select or first and last select same only that's why there is only one way now my question is from these five identical objects 0 or more can be selected in how many ways from these 5 identical objects 0 or more can be selected in how many ways observe here from these 5 identical objects nothing selected that is one way from these 5 identical objects one objects can be selected in only one way from these 5 identical objects two objects can be selected only one way because any two objects can be selected from these five identical objects three objects can be selected only one way from these five identical objects four objects can be selected only one way from these five identical objects five objects can be selected that is also only one way total how many possibilities we got five plus one six possibilities we got that means no object selected one case one object two object three object four objects five objects we can select that's why from five identical objects from five identical objects zero or more five identical objects zero or more can be selected in how many ways five plus one ways that is equal to six ways okay suppose you see another question here so a a a let us say five identical apples are there and again five bananas are there or four identical bananas are there and next three identical cricket balls are there so these are identical items of one kind these are identical objects of another kind these are identical objects of one more kind from these zero or more objects can be selected in how many ways from these zero or more can be selected in how many ways five plus one ways from this zero or more can be selected in how many ways four plus one ways from this zero or more can be selected in how many ways 3 plus 1 ways that's why 5 plus 1 into 4 plus 1 into 3 plus 1 is the answer for 
zero or more objects can be selected in how many ways okay suppose he is asking from those objects one or more can be selected in how many ways one or more object one or more object means what you have to remove one why here also no object selected here also no object selected here also no object selected that is one case in all the cases here also no object no object no object that single case we have to exclude that's why 5 plus 1 into 4 plus 1 into 3 plus 1 minus 1 is the answer for that particular question okay suppose you see this is another question a a a is there three times b is there two times c d e f okay so this is appearing three times this is appearing two times remaining all are different now what to do so from this one or more can be selected in how many ways one or more can be selected in how many ways tell me here three plus one identical that's why here also identical that's why two plus one but here what happens from these four nothing selected from those four one can be selected from those four two can be selected or three can be selected or you can select four so that's what we can write three plus one into two plus one into two to the power of four that answer that is the answer for zero or more but i am asking one or more object so here no object selected here also no object selected here also there is a case no object selected in this case no object selected from that that particular case we have to remove no object selected so this is the answer for one or more object selection so that is about the selection of identical items so here there are n items n identical items of one kind P identical items of second kind, P identical items of second kind, Q identical items of third kind, and R identical items of fourth kind. From these objects, one or more can be selected in how many ways? That is, n plus 1 into P plus 1 into Q plus 1 into R plus 1 minus 1 that is the answer for one or more objects can be selected from those identical items okay with the help of this we are going to find out the applications for that that application is this so one number is given like this that number is let us say 2 power 3 into 3 square into 5 square that is one number prime factorization so what is the meaning for this its meaning is 2 into 2 into 2 3 times next 3 into 3 5 into 5 so what is the meaning here 3 identical items of one kind 2 identical items of second kind again 2 identical items of the third kind now my question is from these n identical from these items we want to find out the number of divisors I want to find out the number of divisors. Number of divisors means what to do? So from this, nothing can be selected. From this also no item selected. Yes? So from this, zero or more item can be selected in how many ways? Three plus one. From this, zero or more can be selected in how many ways? Two plus one. From this, 0 or more can be selected in how many ways? 2 plus 1. So, this is the answer for number of divisors. Observe here, what is the meaning for that, sir? Say here, no item, that means 2 is not selected. Or, 2 you may select one time. Or, 2 you may select two times. Or, 2 you may select three times. Here, what is the meaning? 3 not selected 3 selected one time 3 selected two times 5 not selected 5 you may select one time 5 you may select two times that is the meaning or not so what is the meaning for 3 plus 1 
no item selected, 2 is selected one time, 2 is selected two times, 2 is selected three times, 2 is selected all the three times. That's why 0 or more, 0 or more, 0 or more. Suppose you see 2 not selected, there also 3 not selected, there also 5 not selected. That means 2 power 0 into 3 power 0 into 5 power 0. That is nothing but 1. Yes, 1 is a divisor for this number. 1 is a factor for this number. Suppose you see 2 power 0, 2 not selected. 3 power 0, 3 also not selected. 5 power 1, 5 is selected one time. This simplification we are getting 5. Yes, 5 is a divisor for this number. Suppose you see 2 power 1, 2 is selected one time, 3 not selected, 5 not selected, then what we will get? 2. Yes, 2 is a divisor for this number. Right? So that's why to get the number of divisors, 3 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 1, that is equals to 4 into 3 into 3. That is the answer for number of divisors. 4 3 is 12, 12 3 is 36, so total number of divisors we got. Suppose he is asking number of proper divisors. Number of proper divisors. Number of proper divisors means what to do? From the total number of 36 divisors, we have to remove 2. Why we have to remove 2? The number 1 we have to remove and the number itself. The number itself you have to remove. So you will get the number of proper divisors. Suppose he is asking to find the number of even divisors. But how to find out the number of even divisors? Alright, to get an even divisor, in every divisor there must be an involvement of 2. That's why this particular case we have to remove. What is this particular case? 2 not selected. 2 not selected, that case we have to remove, that's all. So that means what is the meaning here? 2, you may select one time. 2, you may select two times. 2, you may select three times, that's all. 3 into, so 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 1, 3, 3 is 9, 3 is 27 is the answer for number of event divisors. Number of even divisors is equal to 27. But what about the number of odd divisors? You already got the total number of divisors as 36. So 36 minus 27 is the answer for number of even divisors. That is nothing but 9. Sorry, number of odd divisors is equal to 9. Now the question arises. Sir, number of odd divisors means what? Don't consider 2. Don't consider 2. That's all. If 2 is not there, 2 is not there, definitely you will get odd divisors or not. That's why 3 into 3, that is equals to 9 is the answer for number of odd divisors. Okay, suppose he is asking to find the sum of all the divisors. The sum of all the divisors is nothing but this simplification. This simplification is the sum of all divisors. Observe here. This is in geometric progression. Of how many terms? Four terms. With the first term is equal to one in the each term. So that's why A into common ratio power number of terms minus one divided by two minus one. Here also one into total number of terms are three. 3 power 3 minus 1 by 3 minus 1. Following or not? GP. This is also in GP. Now I can write this one as 1 into 5 power 3 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1. So this is the answer for sum of all the divisors. Right? Suppose he is asking to find the sum of the divisors for this. N is equals to 2 to the power of 4. 3 power 3 into... 5 square. We want to find out the sum of the divisors. Directly we can write the sum of the divisors as here you see 2 power 3 plus 1, right? So we can write 2 power 4 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1. Next 3 power 3 plus 1 minus 1 by 3 minus 1. Next 5 power 
2 plus 1 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1 that is the answer for sum of the divisors suppose he is asking to find the sum of even divisors so even divisors means what this particular case suppose he is asking to find the sum of even divisors only this particular case we have to remove even divisors means there is an involvement of 2 in each case that's why this particular case we are removing this sum is equals to 2 into 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 next one is same only 3 power 2 plus 1 minus 1 by 3 minus 1 the next one is 5 power 2 plus 1 minus 1 by 5 minus 1 that is the answer for to find the sum of the even divisors okay So that is the discussion we did for the number of divisors. Next we did the discussion for number of even divisors. Next how to find out the sum of even divisors. Similarly you can find out the sum of odd divisors also. Odd divisors means nothing. If you remove this particular term only find out this sum. Right? You will get the sum of the odd divisors. So that is the way of discussion of selection of items from n identical items identical items से ऐसा select करना that is the discussion and how it is applied for the finding the devices okay bye bye